We know that the the big story uh, in Detroit today is this Thursday night game and a chance to seize early control of the NFC North. Um, Yesterday we brought this up, Gator, the importance of this game. I feel like this is the show-me part that the show-me crowd has asked for. If everyone all summer long is going to tell you how good your football team is going to be, and Vegas is going to tell you how good your football team is going to be, and it seems like five out of six experts are picking your football team to win the division. If you were in the camp of people that said, I've been hurt so many times, I can't embrace an expectation, show me. Tonight's the night you start to show. Because in this division, you'll have two 0-3 teams and you'll have the most serious threat to the Lions for the division crown at 2-2 two and two, and you will have gone into their place and won. And not only will you have gone into their place and won, you will have done it twice than, in less than a year and you will have won four straight <coughs> over that team. That team that I think has some justifiable optimism about some of the young offensive players, but they still have a ton to prove. So Gator, this is the, I think the time where the people that have said, show me can start to feel better, can start to say, all right, it doesn't clinch anything. I gotcha. But when you're four weeks into the season and the script is following what many people said it would, that's when you are showing them. Yeah. a, A three and one start would be fantastic through four games. Obviously, that means taking care of business tonight. And and to those people that are still apprehensive, I'm not going to say skeptical. I think that they're more apprehensive, um, that they they really do want more wins before they completely buy in. And, look, that's their prerogative. You do what you want to do, whatever you do you when it yep. comes to being a fan. Um, I do think it means something to beat Green Bay, even though it's not an Aaron Rodgers Green Bay team. It still has the mystique of the Green Bay Packers. This is a, a a fan base that is already embracing Jordan Love, and there are a, a, there's a big portion of that fan base that thinks that they thinks that they got it right with him, from what I understand. So this is going to be one of those tests, and, and we've seen him flash already the start of the season, where he's been a, a a competent quarterback. His quarterback rating is is well into the nineties through his first four games here, so or first three games. This is a team that's got talent. And they're getting a couple of talented players back tonight with Christian Watson um, and, and Aaron Jones, a running back. It's it's a team that's got a lot of young players on defense. And if they can stay healthy, it's a team that can, can make some noise. But it all really hinges on the quarterback and how good that quarterback is. But is there mystique in playing in Green Bay? Absolutely. Even though it's not a frozen tundra of Lambeau Field, and it's, you're not playing in a snow squall. It really doesn't matter because it's still Green Bay. And winning on the road in the NFL is not easy to do. There's parody in this league for a reason. Uh, I heard John Jansen, uh, was it Jansen talking about it? Or maybe, no, was uh, was watching um, one of the pregame shows yesterday or one of the afternoon shows on uh, on ESPN, and, and somebody was talking about it saying, this is why, you know, when, when talk comes about that, a college team like Georgia that they could go ahead and, and beat the worst NFL team. And he laughed at, it. I think it was it may have been JJ Watt that said on the Pat McAfee show. And he said, just laugh at that. Cause it's, it's, it's ridiculous. There is so much talent on the NFL teams. That's why any given Sunday, any team can beat anybody else. So you don't take anything for granted. And I certainly don't take it for granted tonight. 